We begin tonight with the visit of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Scranton earlier today, where the president met with local, state and federal leaders and visited the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant. According to Governor Josh Shapiro's office, Zelensky made the trip to visit the Pennsylvania workers who are playing a vital role in Ukraine's defense. Shapiro also signed an agreement with the Ukrainian administration during the visit to promise the help of Pennsylvania businesses to help rebuild the country when the war is over. Newswatch 16 Scott Schaefer was in Scranton during the Ukrainian president's visit. He has reaction from residents in Scranton. A small group of supporters gathered around the roadblock to welcome Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to the Electric City. Zelensky came here to visit the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, the factory that is producing some of his country's most vitally needed munitions for its war with Russia. I support Ukraine. I still have family there. I support America, you know, the rules-based order, America being strong enough to withstand all the terrorist states that are around us and trying to destroy uh, freedom and everything. I never thought he'd end up at Scranton, but, you know, I guess General Dynamics Chamberlain's a big deal. The Scranton plant is one of the very few in the country to manufacture 155 millimeter artillery shells, which Ukraine uses in its howitzer weapons that help repel Russian ground forces. I want to be here to support him, to show that Scranton supports him, that Americans support him. And I'm just happy to have him here, to be honest with you. I'm honored. Um, I think it's fantastic. I'm so happy that he's here. I'm so happy that he's able to be here. Um, I think that he's a hero, as I think all the people of Ukraine are heroes right now, um, standing up for democracy in our country, but also around the world. President Zelensky's visit to Scranton is just one stop on what promises to be a busy week for him here in the United States. He's due in Washington to speak with President Biden. He's also scheduled to address the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Scott Schaefer, Newswatch 16, Scranton.